Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will give a compare between these three programmers. We have EDAC Plus, we have Launch CRP919E with Bluetooth connection and the last one is the ProDAC with uh, DBS Car 7, okay? All these three hardwares, they are similar. There's no difference between DBS Car 7 and EDAC Plus or ThinkDAC 2. All of them belong to company launch. If you open the hardware inside, you will see the board is similar. What I noticed from my experience, the DBS Car 7 is a little bit faster comparing with EDAC Plus or ThinkDAC 2. I don't know from which reason, because uh, as I said, when I open it inside, the board is similar. We will scan this car. This is Ford Mondeo 2013. The car doesn't start. And I said this is the perfect uh, moment to compare all these three diagnostics. Let's see which performance they have on this Ford Mondeo. It should be quite fast because the car is 2013. It's not an uh, old car. The connection should be really fast. I will start first with Diag Plus. As I said, this one is budget diagnostic. This is cheap. I don't have so many expectations from him, at least on the options, on the special functions. But on another two, you should have a little more functionality. Okay, I will take first this one. I will plug it in the car and we give a start, okay? And the EDAG is connected. Let's proceed to scan this car. We go on the old system. I do apologize for the glare, but I cannot do so much because I cannot move this car. This car doesn't start. Yes, we have it. I don't skip, then you'll see also how much it takes to connect to the car and also after that how much it takes to scan this car. It takes quite a long time. I don't know why it takes so long. Let's see what happens. End of the session. Let's go on the cars maybe. Euro 4 this year. I don't know from which reason. Let's try again. You notice also the key switch on. We are already four minutes and we didn't have connection with this car. This is not a good start for this chip diagnostic. As I said, this hardware is similar with DBS Car 7. I believe it's necessary to skip this video because it cannot connect automatically. I will wait a little bit and if it doesn't connect, I will do it manually and I will let you to know, okay? If you can notice it doesn't have connection, then this tool, it seems to don't like Ford. Okay, I will connect the next one. And we start from the product is connected. Okay, let's proceed to scan the car.
Everything now is much better, but let's see from here. Definitely the DBS Car 7 is much faster because of the software, not because of the hardware. Also the hardware, maybe it have a different chips inside or who the fuck knows, but as you can notice, at least you can connect with the car and the scanning is really quick. Actually, this video will be a comparing between the product and launch CRP919. Take in mind, the hardware are similar. Both of them use DBS Car 7. Okay, this is our reason why the car doesn't start. The ECU pump. Let's see which faults we do have here. Okay, another one. Okay, we have four modules with five issues in total. Let's see also what launch it reserved for us. What uh, launch it will tell us. If I don't make a mistake, in total we have 18 modules, but we go after that also with launch, as I said. Till there, let's go here. What we have here. Okay, let's go on chassis. Okay. Service on PC. These are the options. And I do apologize for that, I was interrupted. I don't know where I left, but anyway, these are the options. Okay, we go back. We will go on actuation test. This is what we can do. Pump it's on, but I hear nothing. This is because we don't have connection. It should not tell us on, but I don't know from which reason. Maybe it's a software fault. You don't have so many options, but I really don't have so many expectations. I know for sure it doesn't have so many options. What I saw, Bosch have much more options for Ford. It's quite bad I didn't have the Bosch with me to show you how many options Bosch have on this car and how many things you can actuate from here. You cannot believe, but what can I do now? It's too late. Let's see which issue we have it. Okay. These are the information. I will switch now to launch because I don't want to lose the time. I switch off and I connect another tool and we go from there. Launch is connected. Let's see what the small brother can do. You can do also this car offline if you don't have internet, but he will ask for the internet later this is the reason why i connect the uh, internet okay let's go for a health report in my opinion the small diagnostic is smash another two diagnostics at least uh, e diag no chance will be really good if t in the future they will make topology system but if not you can go for another tool it's quite interesting to see how the ECU works together but not always is a correct wiring diagram of these issues Are you curious to see if the product copy everything from launch or if launch improved the system? Let's see how up to date is the product because DAG zone and product they are moving quite fast when it's a update software released.
we have the same formation. Let's go with some special function. It seems to have the same special function. And the pro dag make a good copy. Here pump on, off, it doesn't react, or, oh yes, this one actually it reacts, off and on, we have a fold there, let's see what uh, happens and why the car doesn't start, I will leave you a comment below what the problem it was. Okay, what we have here. Okay, actually it's information related with car. It is nothing important. We go back. I don't know what uh, I should show you more because I don't want to make the video too long. I will switch off. I have another car over there connected. It's another Ford. It's a MK4. It's the older generation of this one. You hear it, it's like a tractor. If you have problem with the ECU fuel pump. You should know it's over here is located. Okay, here is the place. And somebody tried to replace it already. Look how many of them are here. And of course, this is also the reason why they will call you when they will start with the original one. After that, they buy a second one, the used one, and also it doesn't start. And after that, they buy a brand new part and also the car doesn't start then they decide to call you and this is also a good reason when you make your price be careful to think twice before to tell them how much will cost the repairing because it depends how much you work but this is up to you okay let's close the video here because i must finish this car thanks for watching and see us in the next video bye bye